The Symposium Group presents the Symposium Experience. This conference provides startup, growth, and networking strategies for the direct sales executive. Well, are y'all ready for a fabulous day? Well, I commend you for being here because I have to tell you that in this industry, there are so many people who refuse to acknowledge that they need knowledge about direct selling. But so many of us think that we have it all in our head. We've either been distributors, we know what we're doing, we're smart business people, and we probably didn't start with a real business plan on paper. So this becomes even more important if you haven't started your company with a business plan. So let's get started. Here's my objective today. It's to try to help you not hit the landmines and have time bombs go off in your company because you forgot about something. So whether you've launched or not, whether you're here and you've just started thinking about your, your project, started thinking about your vision for your company, or whether you have been, you're seasoned and you've been in business for years, it doesn't matter. Every company needs to have a critical path. Do you all know what a critical path is? It's a timeline. What it is actually is a timeline that will lay out your tasks, your activities, the things that you need to do when you're in your design and your development stage all the way through to your implementation stage. A critical path is really important for you, especially if you are starting a direct selling company. So you began with your vision. Because every new company owner begins with a vision. You know, the interesting thing is visions change, you know, from time to time. But most of you who are sitting here had a vision for your company. You knew what you wanted your business to become in the future. All the tasks of, on your critical path should be designed to dovetail together to guide the journey to your ultimate goal. Spending the time in a critical path and, and creating your timeline so that you are following it to the letter, following it piece by piece, and making sure that those tasks are completed is what's going to help you not look like that person right there in the middle. Why do you really need a, a critical path to launch your company? Well, number one, it's going to keep you on task. It helps you to make better decisions. It's going to keep it in a logical, sequential order, and one step at a time, because does it become overwhelming? How many of you have ever felt overwhelmed with all there is to do? It also helps you to stay on track to complete tasks in the right order, so there's no need to backtrack. Backtracking takes away your time, it takes away your money, it takes away your energy. Going backwards is not where you want to go. The whole point of a critical path is to go forward. So let's talk about how you avoid the launch landmines, because this is so important. Let's talk about taking a skills and knowledge inventory. And this is about you. If you're the owner of the company, if you are truly the, the CEO or the president of your company, then I really encourage you to sit down and make a skills inventory list. Think a minute about what your skills are. What are your dominant skills? What, what is it that you do best? And then take a look on the other side of who you really need to look to the expert that you need to go to in order to hire that skill out. So here's another launch landmine. And this comes back to researching your idea. You know, you may have a great idea for a product or a service, but your audience may be limited. Narrowly define your business and your target market, create your own niche. Research other companies in the industry that closely resemble what you want your company to be. And ask yourself the following question, why is my product or service unique? What makes me different? So here comes the third landmine. And boy, oh boy, it's not having enough in startup costs, man. It's essential that you determine the amount of capital you will need before you design and market your business. Start out with enough money to last you for about at least six months after your launch. Plan for contingencies, because I'm going to tell you right now, it's always going to cost more than what you think. If you plan a budget, man, just go ahead and up it a little bit. A number four, I can't even emphasize enough how important it is to find and hire the right support team. Vendors, suppliers, contractors, employees, advisory board members, each of these individuals can help make up your new business. Network with friends, network, always, always be asking, who do you know, who do you know? Please make sure you find and hire 
the best support team that you can and make sure that they are, they are distributor consultant friendly and that they have experience and they know how to, to nurture and care for and give the right impression that you want your company to give. To learn more about the presentation you have just seen and about our upcoming events, please visit thesymposiumgroup.com.